Arapaho County deputies executed a search warrant at a home in an animal cruelty case in Deer Trail. They rescued seven horses and a llama that are extremely malnourished, had no access to food and water. And the sheriff's office says animal cruelty charges are pending. Even horse owners with the best of intentions can struggle to care for their animals. It's expensive. And many are turning to organizations like the Horse Protection League in Arvada. They surrender their horses when they can't afford to feed or care for them. But now the rescue organization is also facing hard times. It's caring for more horses than in past years, and it's not adopting out nearly as many in the past. In 2021, the Horse Protection League found homes for 21 horses. Last year, the number was down to just three. Comes as inflation is raising the cost of everything from food to vet care. Our Kelly Worthman dropped by the rescue today to check on its efforts to make ends meet. At the historic church's ranch in Arvada, volunteers with the Horse Protection League are hard at work. We rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome donkeys, ponies, mules, horses of any shape and size. More than 30 horses are receiving care and training here as they wait for their next forever home. As a horse ages, they only get more expensive. Margaret Blaha is the rescue's director of operations. Like all of us, she wants to pull on the reins of inflation. The cost of hay has doubled and even tripled. And as costs keep climbing, the nonprofit is doing all it can to make ends meet. Sometimes it feels like uh, miracles. The rising cost of hay and feed isn't just impacting horse rescues, it's impacting horse owners all across Colorado. In fact, the Horse Protection League anticipates more people surrender their horses this year because they can't afford to keep them. I'm just afraid that that is probably what we're looking at for 2023. Christine Taliga is president of the Horse Protection League. She gets emails every day from people looking to surrender their beloved horse. And right now, there's a waiting list to bring the animals here. We try to do our best to make that a compassionate interaction. Compassion is at the heart of the nonprofit since it began welcoming horses with nowhere else to go in 1994. Now, as the ranch struggles with its own rising cost and an influx of animals in need, it's leaning even more into compassion from the community. It's a lot of community support that keeps us going. And that community support can come in many forms, from business partnerships to volunteering. But of course, what the Horse Protection League really needs is donations. So if you'd like to pitch in, head on over to our website. In Arvada, I'm Kelly Worthman, covering Colorado First.